Hello and welcome to WPLMS Tutorials. In this tutorial, we're going to learn about WPLMS MailChimp add-on plugin. So to purchase the add-on, you can simply go to LMS settings add-on section and here you can click on learn more and you can purchase the plugin. So once you have purchased the plugin, you will get the download file which you need to upload in your WordPress site from admin panel plugins add new section and once you have uploaded it will appear in the installed plugin section and we can then activate the plugin so once the plugin is activated you need to go to LMS settings section and you will see a MailChimp section but before going to the MailChimp section, we need to first enter the license key so that we get the automatic updates of the plugin. And after entering the license key, we click on activate. And then the block turns green, which means the plugin is active. So once the plugin is active, we will now get the automatic updates for this plugin. So next we move to the MailChimp section. So here you will see a MailChimp API key. So to use this plugin, we need a MailChimp API key. To get a MailChimp API key, we need to first create an account on MailChimp.com. So you can simply sign up for the MailChimp account and once you have signed up you can then log into your MailChimp account so this is my MailChimp account here so to get a MailChimp API key we simply refer the tutorial which is shared here so we need to go to the profile account panel and in the extras drop down we need to choose APIs, API keys so we go to account in extras we go to API keys and here we can create an API key which we can copy and paste in the MailChimp API key section and then we'll click save settings so next we need to create a few lists in our MailChimp account so for list we'll simply go to the list section we'll see a button called create list click on it and then we'll create a list name and fill in the relevant details so once our list is created we can simply come back to our MailChimp section and now if we reload our page we will get all the lists in the drop downs so this is the list we just created we'll select this list and click on save settings so now any user who subscribes on our site will see a subscription option so if we simply check the registration so if we simply check the registration page we now see a switch to subscribe to the newsletter so any user who registers on the site now is automatically subscribed to our all tutorial users email list and for existing users we can simply click on this button sync all users so all the users who are registered on our site will be imported in this list. So this is the progress bar. So once the sync is complete, if we now check our list. We now see all the users who are registered on our site. Similarly, if we select any list for the WooCommerce checkout, we, we can get all the paying customers 
of our site into this list. So now, as you can see, all the paying customers of our site are subscribed to this list. And now if we purchase any product from our site, we see an option to subscribe to the newsletter. and the user gets subscribed only when the order is completed so in this case when i will manually approve the order as complete so now that the now that the order is complete the user should be subscribed in our list as you can see so here we get all the users of our site and in the second option we get all the paying users of our site in a MailChimp list now the third option is for all the core students on our site so we'll create another list for this and we will select this list in all courses student list so now an important part of this list is is that we should be able to categorize various students of various courses into different groups so for this we need to create a subscriber group in our list and the type of this group should be checkboxes because a single user can be subscribed to multiple courses and it is important that we note the note the name of the group and we save it and we need at least one course name as it is required for group creation the remaining course names will be automatically created when we sync our list So now we'll copy this group name, paste it in the group specific name, course specific name and now we'll save the settings. So after saving the settings, now if we click on sync all users, all the users or all the course taking users of our site will be added to this MailChimp list and all the courses will become groups under the group category of course in this MailChimp list. So once the sync is complete, if we now check our list, It will take some time to reflect all the changes, so we will reload and we can see that we have 5 course list users and if we go to view subscribers, we can see all the subscribers and every group name and the course names to which the subscriber is subscribed to is also added as you can see. 
so if we go to the groups section and view groups so we can see that each of our group has a list of subscribers which is actually the users who are taking the course and you can directly send a regular campaign email campaign to these users from the mailchimp interface itself so next is is creating course specific lists so this functionality enables you to create course specific lists and in these course specific lists you can subgroup the users based on the course status whether the student is pursuing the course or the student has already finished the course similarly you can create another another grouping which is active user or expired user so this will enable you to send emails to all the users of a course whose course is expired so for this we simply need to add the labels for the groups so in this case the groups will be automatically created for the lists which are also automatically created when we click on the create sync lists button so we can add any label for the course status similarly we can add any label for the active status and save the changes so once these changes are saved we need to click on create click to create sync list and it will show you a bunch of settings now you need to fill these settings because these are required for list creation so after you have filled these settings and saved the changes you can click on create click to create sync lists and it will automatically create lists for each of our course in our mailchimp account and automatically subscribe users to these lists under various groupings pursuing for pursuing users finished for finished users active for active users and expired for expired users so we click on create list so once the sync is complete if you now check your mailchimp account and reload the lists page you can see that we have various lists for each of our courses and inside these lists we have the users who are pursuing the course as you can see we have two subgroups created course status and active status and we have pursuing status for the users who are currently taking the course and active status for the users who are active in the course so this is regarding the course specific lists section so next is that you can auto subscribe and unsubscribe the user from courses when they take a course or when they are removed from the course using this switch similarly we have a all instructors list you can select any list here and sync all the instructors with this list so you you can send emails to all the instructors in one go so for every course the list setting is saved in the in the course settings section which you can access from the admin panel of the course so the list created by the create list create sync list section creates a list for every course which is connected with the course in the course settings section note that this setting is only visible in the wp admin panel and if you do not want any course to have a list you can simply disable the mailchimp list and the sync will not be done with this for this course next is the mailchimp widget so you can add the mailchimp widget for any course in the widget section you will see a 
WPLMS MailChimp subscription widget which you can add to the course sidebar and here you can select that if if this widget is placed on a single course page then it will automatically pick the course list on the course page if you are using it for any regular sidebar you can set a default list so any user who subscribe to the who subscribes using this widget will be subscribed to this list to the selected list you can also add a google captcha for this for the google captcha you need to enter the google captcha key and captcha secret in the mailchimp settings section you can also sync the mailchimp lists with the course specific lists and the and all the lists which are in this setting using the automatic sync functionality which can be set twice daily or on a daily basis so all your list data remains up to date with your sites user section so that's it from wplms tutorials thanks for watching